we physicists, what we do is we apply mathematics to understand the world. And the assumption is that the world is understandable. And we do it with non-living matter all the time. And there we have no problem in saying, oh, I have these laws, either quantum laws or still classical laws, or, I don't know, or statistical physics models or whatever you want. And they are going to explain what I observe. I do think that the same thing has to be valid also in the case of biology. There, no, there is no vis viva. There is no, we are not, vitalism is over. So there is, there, we cannot talk about, there's nothing special, sorry, you know, about uh, being alive. I'm very, I'm very physicalist or natu materialist or whatever you want to call it. I'm very physicalist in that. And I think physicists, we, we are like this in general. So biology ha has to be understandable. And this means that there has to be laws, and the laws have to be mathematical. Maybe they are harder to, to obtain or not, but people have been doing theoretical biology for a century, no? Lotka and Volterra, you establish these models for predator and prey, and these are theoretical models. And in some cases, they explain quite well what happens, especially if you do control experiments or, so this is for me theoretical biology. The problem came in, I don't know, in the 60s and 70s, in which people were doing theoretical biology already in the middle of the revolution that was driven by the molecular biology. So there were, DNA was identified and people were starting to understand how to sequence genes in some sense and how genes determine behavior. There was a lot of revol a revolution and a lot of knowledge being done experimentally, experimentally, but not enough to feed theoretical models. And then during the 60s and 70s, people were doing theoretical models on the side that I was telling you earlier. I just care about my problem. It's a, math it's a beautiful mathematical problem, which is framed in terms of biology. So my unknowns are unknowns of a biological type. But since we didn't have enough uh, information, in my opinion, it was very hard to link this to biology. And then biologists didn't see this as useful to them. But now there is enough knowledge. So I think it is valuable to try to find laws that should be written in, mathematical way, in a mathematical way to try to understand the phenomena that living matter uh, exhibit.